Hello everybody, and a very warm welcome to LMT YouTube channel. Did Meghan Markle's unfair media treatment lead to her and Prince Harry retiring? By now, fans of the royal family have received the news that Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are taking a huge step back from their royal duties. Less than two years after Markle officially joined the royal family by marrying Prince Harry, the royal couple has decided to forego their responsibilities as senior members of the royal family. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle announce huge news? The Duke and Duchess announced their decision in a statement on January 8, 2019. The former actress and the prince have opted to step down as senior members of the royal family. Citing reasoning such as launching their personal charitable endeavors and raising their son privately, they shared their difficult decision with the public. But, could the media's unfair treatment of Markle be the real reason for this choice? After the royal wedding, the media's treatment of Markle got worse. Markle has been treated unfairly by the media ever since she and Prince Harry went public with their relationship. Things only escalated when she married Prince Harry and welcomed their young son, Archie, into the world. Critics slammed Markle for everything from holding her baby to taking maternity leave. Publications made up terrible lies about her and violated her privacy by publishing private letters that she sent to her family members. In many ways, the media's treatment of Markle is eerily similar to the way they treated her late mother-in-law, Princess Diana. Of course, Markle also has to contend with an added dose of racism. When Prince Harry announced that they were suing Daily Mail, he also revealed his deepest fear. Having lost his mother in a tragic accident that occurred, in large part because of the media's carelessness, Prince Harry has openly expressed concern for his wife. When the couple revealed their plans to sue the Daily Mail back in October of 2019, the Duke of Sussex revealed that losing Markle due to the media's callousness was his greatest fear. Because my deepest fear is history repeating itself. I've seen what happens when someone I love is commoditized to the point that they are no longer treated or seen as a real person. I lost my mother and now I watch my wife falling victim to the same powerful forces," Prince Harry wrote in a statement posted to the Sussex website. Announcing their resignation on Instagram Prince Harry gave clear warnings that he would continue to prioritize his wife and his son's well-being at all costs. This is why many fans of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex were unsurprised that they are taking a step back from royal life. On Instagram, the powerful couple outlined their thought process behind this choice. After many months of reflection and internal discussions, we have chosen to make a transition this year in starting to carve out a progressive new role within this institution. We intend to step back as senior members of the royal family and work to become financially independent while continuing to fully support Her Majesty the Queen, the statement began. The royals will split their time between Canada, the USA, and the UK. It is with your encouragement, particularly over the last few years, that we feel prepared to make this adjustment. We now plan to balance our time between the United Kingdom and North America, continuing to honor our duty to the Queen the Commonwealth, and our patronages. This geographic balance will enable us to raise our son with an appreciation for the royal tradition into which he was born, while also providing our family with the space to focus on the next chapter, including the launch of our new charitable entity. Markle and Prince Harry continued. Before Harry met Meghan, that the, uh, he was very tight with his brother and, and Catherine. They were charities together. They were always working out together. 
I mean, and and he great relationship with the Queen. I mean, Arthur, they boom, fall in you know. love with people. And yeah, but they fall in love with people. But you know, I fell in love with my wife. But I didn't change me what I do. I <laughs> still carried on but doing Harry what was, I wanted to do. Harry, you know, Harry was had hadn't found someone he could settle with. He wanted. You clearly wanted mm-hmm. to be a father. He saw his mm-hmm. brother fall in love and have a family. That's what he was looking for. And 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 Meghan's the person he fell in love with and, and has had a family with. Yeah, but issuing writs at the end of a tour, but it's been hugely successful. It's not Harry. That is just definitely not Harry. Harry is just the. The, the nicest person. I, I'm just so sad he's leaving. I really am. A new age for Markle and Prince Harry. Finally, the royals extended their thanks to their loyal supporters and promised to keep them informed about what's next for them. We look forward to sharing the full details of this exciting next step in due course as we continue to collaborate with Her Majesty the Queen the Prince of Wales, the Duke of Cambridge, and all relevant parties. Until then, please accept our deepest thanks for your continued support. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex, the couple concluded. Of course, even retirement can't protect Markle from harsh criticism. The statement has already received thousands of hateful comments, a large majority of them directed at the Duchess. Thanks Meghan Markle for putting a black eye on the U.S. You married into his family. You knew exactly what you were getting into. Now you are turning your back on the monarchy. If your marriage lasts, I would be very surprised. Embarrassing, one naysayer wrote on Instagram. With so much unjustifiable hate, it's no wonder Prince Harry and Markle have chosen to step back from their roles as senior royals. We wish them all the best in their exciting and hopefully more peaceful new chapter. I think that Meghan Markle has broke the family up. I'm sad to think he's moving away, but I hope he's just maybe taking a break for a while. Canada is very nice. It's not like Harry has changed, but it depends on what is best for them. Do people in America actually care about Meghan Markle? I think most people would not know who you were talking about. If she thinks it's going to better her whole family's life, then it's good for her. A bit of a gold digger, and she knows full well what she's doing. She's taking him away from his country and his people. It's very sad that the relationship with his brother has changed. Um, I thought they were always a very tight brotherhood. I love the Queen, and I just think it's terrible that that she's losing her grandson and her and her great grandson. I have no idea about how they w- work or make money or anything, but good for them. You know, financially independent. That's something we all want, right? Whether the British taxpayers should pay, you know, what they're paying currently for them, you know, that's that's up to the British public. I think it's her background in the actress that people don't like about her. Lately, she's been so, you know, uptight with the press and everything like that. So she just wanted you know, a place to relax for herself and just be open-minded and space for, just for her child to grow up. I don't think he's, she's changed him as a man. I think he is his own person. And I think maybe he's just trying to figure out what's the best route for him in life. I don't think their marriage will last because I think that Harry will wind up leaving her eventually because he loves his family. What do you think the future holds for them? For the, as a couple? I think it's bright. It's bright. It's a bright future for them and their son. Yes, it is significant because in due course, uh, he will be very significant in his position as the second son of a future king. And I think that because we've all got to know Prince Harry first and now the Duke of Sussex and now his wife, the Duchess of Sussex, it will be difficult to see them take a completely different path. You know, royalty will often try to do this. We have seen this in the past with the Earl and Countess of Wessex who wanted to try and lead as normal a life as they could. They wanted to enter into the normal world of uh, commerce and it proved to be quite challenging. But I dare say that the Duke and Duchess of Sussex have a plan. So I don't know what route they'll take, but certainly this is a substantial decision. It will require a great deal of support, no doubt, from their families and they will have been very clear to make sure that they've got that, I'm sure. After all, a great deal of effort has been made by the royal family to make sure that the Duke and Duchess of Sussex are greatly welcomed into the institution, are properly housed and are protected. But now, particularly with their interest in Canada, you know, it'll be interesting to see how they progress and move forward. It has been necessary for a large number of the people who support the Queen 
to remain free of that challenge in order not to fall foul of any challenges that they may be trying to profit from their position or anything like that. So it is always fraught. And if you carry the burden, as it were, of great royal titles like their Royal Highnesses, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, and make your way into commercial life or independent self-funding uh, through your own hard work, which, as I say, is very admirable, there are conflicts that can arise, but I dare say this has been gone through and considered by the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, and they may well have, and it'll be very interesting to see, a very clever way of bringing the two challenges together. Stop.